Hey, g'day guys. Steve Innes again. Oops, I'm gonna get up. Oh man, I'm getting old. <laughs> um, I've got a jet um, edge sander, lucky me. Um, I'll turn around. So this is the edge sander that I've got. Now this um, this is the uh, bench, it's the oscillating sander. Um, goes up and down and I'll show you, blah, blah, blah. Hot. And that's all good. Sort of oscillates here and, and, um, and there. The trouble is, this is a this is a uh, the bench which and this this bench here can go can go up and down over here, and this is done by undoing that and undoing that. Now this thing is damn heavy. It's a great cast iron thing, and you can't do it by yourself. So I made myself a little a little ripper of a um, little tiny. Um, <laughs> what they call them, the uh, third hand, except I made it from, I actually had some old um, things that I bought from um, Audi, which were like the third hand, but they were big long poles, but I ended up chopping it off, fitting a little base, and now, and I'll show you now, if I just squeeze this really simply with my hand and found the centre of gravity, which is about there, up goes my little table. Look, I'm even just doing it with one little finger and lock it up to where I want, go up that side. Now just lock it off, there, and lock it off there. And now, <laughs> and now I've raised it right up the top. Easy peasy. <laughs> anyway, that's today's little hack. That's today's little hack on um, making life a little bit easier to make up for the inadequacies of the the jet oscillating sander. Why these people who design these things don't see this is beyond me. How do they think someone is going to be able to lift a cast iron bench like that, which weighs pff, maybe, I don't know, 25 kilos, or something like that. And it's awkward because it rocks sort of back and forward. And yet such a simple little jack in the middle or some simple mechanism on the side would make life so much easier. Boy, oh boy, maybe I should have, I, you know, instead of designing pubs, maybe I should have designed machinery because I think the guys who do it now are doing a pretty average job at times, I can tell you. It's on the little things. It's almost like they've never used the machine. They design it, make it, but they've never used it. Like as in, um, again, another criticism of this. It's, you know, it's a good sander, blah, blah, blah. But that's, the little bit that they think that the dust is going to get sucked through. They're dreaming. <laughs> the moment you get something up here, there's no way that that's going to pull it. So this, this angle, this angle really needed to have followed out and made a big sort of gullet here to capture the dust that misses it. I'm actually going to make a new one of these. I'm going to make my own because they do a ratty job of it. Um, and then it'll work perfect. Oh well. My calling in life was pubs <laughs> and, and, and home workshops and pimping machines. Pimping, pimping machines of the inadequacies of other designers. So on that note, see ya.